The Lakers are running into problems that aren't unique. Unique to the Lakers, not a lot of other franchises, because questions about how a team is passed down to the family after an owner dies, getting the right balance of building for the future, but also winning immediately. Because we don't give the Lakers the luxury of rebuilding, reloading, not rebuilding. you got to find the right coach, especially the right coach for a player like LeBron James, and that's not easy to do. But with certain teams, the problems become amplified because no matter where the Lakers find themselves in the standings, they're still special with what they mean to the NBA, what do they mean to Los Angeles. So much history, so many great players, so many titles, the purple and gold, and there's L.A. and everything that comes with it. So it's hard for the Lakers to experience the ebb and flows that most franchises go through, and they all go through this. They don't have the luxury of rebuilding. When they lose, the frustration mounts quickly. Magic Johnson, critical comments about the team he just left, raise a lot more questions, and we don't have the answers. The Laker fans expect to win, even with LeBron on the team. They have to wonder if they're going to be returning to the championship level anytime soon. Because it used to be, and this is what happens in sports talk radio, You'll get the proposed trades. Hey, I was thinking about, hey, what if the Knicks did this? Hey, what if the Lakers did this? And we always look for the team that we want to do well. And we don't ever think about the team that would be trading somebody something and then go, oh, well, we don't care about them. Hey, they just got ripped off. But look, the Knicks just got, or the Lakers just got, or the Yankees just got. Now, this is a situation where not everybody wants to go to the Knicks. We've seen that over the last couple of decades. Here are the Lakers who haven't made the playoffs in, what, six years. Not everybody wants to go there. You know, they struggled to find a coach. You know, Frank Vogel, okay. You're going to get Ty Lue just because of his relationship with Le LeBron James. I mean, that's not murderer's row when it comes to coaches here. You know, Monty Williams turned down the job reportedly to go to the Phoenix Suns. Ty Lue wanted five, not three, and decided that he'd rather not coach. He'd rather be unemployed, getting paid by the Cavs then coach the Lakers when he would be on the clock as soon as he steps in the door. But the Lakers situation, you know, they're, they're, it's uh, systemic. You know, it, it's internal. And sometimes trying to get that out without putting it on the clothesline is really difficult. And right now, there's a lot of dirty laundry there. What Magic did, I said that yesterday, I didn't like it. You know, because... Now it feels like you're backstabbing the organization when you complained about Rob Polinka backstabbing you. I don't know Rob Polinka, but he's an agent. And agents, I don't always um, hmm, accept their word. How's that? <laughs> I think you're about to say another word with, with a <laughs> yeah. T. Yeah. I, uh, I just, I listen to agents. I don't always accept uh, what they say is the truth there. But Rob Polinka, if he's running the organization, Kobe signed off on him and that, Probably says a lot. And Jeannie Buss, if Jeannie Buss has a problem with Magic, she's got to look at Jeannie Buss because she hired Magic Johnson. And I know that there were criticisms of Magic that he wasn't fully devoted, committed to his job. This has nothing to do with his work ethic. And I know that people, you know, they, they expounded upon that yesterday. Oh, what are we saying about Magic? That he's lazy. No, to the contrary. Magic is an unbelievable worker. They wondered, and you can go back when he was hired, did he have the time with all of his jobs to be able to do this? This has nothing to do with Magic being lazy. This has a lot to do with Magic having a lot of jobs. You got the Dodgers, you got all your businesses there, and you're trying to, I mean, being a front office guy for a team that's trying to rebuild, who has LeBron James in the house, that's full time. And the Lakers hired him because, well, Magic's the Lakers, and you bring him in. You should have hired him as a goodwill ambassador. Then he can tweet all he wants. But you bring him in, it's a full-time job. He didn't know it or, you know, thought that he could still do his other jobs and still do that because he's Magic. Because he did this when he was on the floor, he made things happen. Off the floor, he didn't. He couldn't. And Jeannie Buss has to look at Jeannie Buss. You brought him in. And now what do you have? For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.